Thank you, Sain. I have already set up a couple of servers under Monio for demonstration purpose. So I'll just kick start the demonstration. There are situations where you would want to see what's happening to your server, to see what queries are currently being executed, to see information regarding user host with respect to these queries. In short, we would need something like a real-time activity monitor. And this is exactly what Monio provides through the process list. We call it the process list module. And this is how it looks. So these are the process list for two servers. Okay, so one and this is the server two. Uh, I'm going to just minimize the server, second server, so that you can completely see the first server's process list. Yeah, there is something very unique about this module of Monio. The unique thing about this is that it gives you manual control over all the queries that are currently being executed. Now, what do I mean by manual control? Before I go ahead and explain that, I would like to talk about slow queries. A query having a long execution time is not always good for a server because it could lock up tables or resources, it can lock other queries, hence causing potential bottlenecks. In such a scenario, you would want to terminate or shoot down such queries and Monio lets you do that and this is what I was referring to as the manual control. Let me give you a quick demonstration of how that can be done using Monio. Uh, to my rescue is SQL York, the GUI for MySQL server, pretty popular among MySQL users. I'm sure you would have heard of it. I have this query here, a, a simple select query. I'm going to fire this now from SQL York. Uh, let me go execute it here. Yes, I just executed it. And I see it here in the process list page. This is the query I just fired. It's taking 7, 8, 9, and it just got... Uh, just give me a second, please. I think I just missed that query. Uh, pardon me. I would just want to go ahead and uh, re-execute it. Just, just a small check that I need to do before I proceed with the demonstration. Okay. Uh, you just got to give me a second for this. I think there's some small uh, setup problem. Just, just another second, and it will be fixed. All right. I'm going to remove the second one so that we can just see the first uh, server very well in, in the web page. Okay. Okay, there you go. A neat clean processless module. Yep, I'm going to continue this execution. And I see this here. What I can do is I can go here. Okay, it's asking for permission. I say okay, and it just got shot down by Monyog. Yeah, there you go. It's just out of the process list. There you go. It's out. Now, wouldn't it be nice if this could be done automatically instead of you having to come and shoot down this query? You know, sometimes we are not going to be around to shoot down queries that would exceed certain amount of time. So, we have a solution for this. Monuk exactly pro provides a solution for this. That is the real-time query sniping option. All we need to do is set up Monio to do so. And how to do that? You need to go to the sniffer settings of Monio. Long running query options section has this monitor long running queries. I'm going to say yes to that. And this is where you specify the maximum query execution time. Let me set it to 5 now. Okay. That would mean I'm asking Monyog to shoot down queries that exceeds more than five seconds in terms of execution time. 
There are a couple of other options like ignore queries by user which means a certain query by a certain user even though it exceeds the 5 second query execution time interval it still does not go ahead and shoot because you've said ignore user. So such options to uh, for, for convenience sake and also actions to be taken section wherein you have three options notify kill notify and kill notify would just send you an email alert or an SNMP trap or both if you want to kill would just kill the query shoot down the query terminate the query notify and kill obviously <laughs> as the name suggests it would it would just do the both so let me just pick one of them kill the query and save all this is just what you need to do for setting up Monio to shoot down queries okay I'm gonna go back to the GUI tool because I am gonna be firing another query okay just to demonstrate how it could be automatically sh shot down by Monioc. I think the same query would suffice so I'm gonna execute here go to Monioc process list yes there is the query sending data process list demonstration that's what we are referring to and there it, it's just gone it just got deleted I mean it just got shot down I need to say so this is how convenient it is to use Monio such that it would shoot down queries that exceed a certain number of seconds another very very interesting colorful picture uh, module sorry pardon me module of Monio is the dashboard this is how it looks okay this is real-time update these are all real-time updating charts this dashboard gives you a graphical representation of your server's health at a quick glance you could see your MySQL server's availability your connection details like number of attempts refused terminated ab terminated abruptly etc he uh, cache misses your statements like selects deletes etc and if you have your MySQL server running on a Linux system, you even get to see the OS availability, which is the system availability here, and the CPU usage. You can even see the spikes of the CPU here. So all this can be monitored using one module, that is the dashboard module. Right? There's another thing that I would like to uh, quickly simulate here to give you how efficiently to show you how efficiently dashboard can be made use of so I'm going to simulate simulate a situation where a hacker is trying to connect to this server called ohm replication that's here and how my dashboard charts are alerting me immediately again I'm going to take SQL Yog. that's the server that I'm trying to connect to I'm going to make a couple of attempts to connect. Okay. Another attempt just to see the spike on the dashboard charts. Okay. Let's go back. There you go. This is the red color which indicates the refuse connections and there you go. All the all the uh, plots are all spiked which means the server has just re rejected those connections isn't it easy to monitor servers this way very convenient huh moving on let's see imagine a scenario where you have a growing database most of the times for a growing database we would need to either archive it or delete historic data failing which we would soon run out of disk space right is there a way to find out prime candidates for cleanup to make space for new data yes using Monio there's certainly a way out we have this feature called the disk info okay this is how it looks wherein you get exact details of how much space each of your databases have occupied on your hard disk you can even go down a level deeper you can find out how much space each of your tables have occupied this way you can plan out which database needs archiving or deletion 
So depending on your application, you would do the required. Our customers are really happy with this as they get immediate information regarding the databases with just a click of a button. Another very, very interesting feature in Monio is the server config. I know my colleague has already mentioned about this feature uh, being a request from one of our co-workers who's sitting right over here, our system admin. Okay, so we, we experienced a scenario a while ago. We had two servers with the exact same hardware configuration servicing the very same application, but the performance of one server was better than that of the other. We figured out that the answers lied in the config file. We wanted an option to compare the configuration of one file with that of the other to find out the differences that could enhance the performance of the server or that could even deplete the performance of the server. So we wanted to find out basically how these two servers are different, what variables in these servers were set differently which resulted in a better performance or otherwise. So this is the server configuration wherein you find the differences highlighted in red. The plain white rows are the rows which have the same identical data. If you want to see only the differences with a click of a button, all you have to do is click this checkbox, show differences only. This would just list down the differences between these two servers. How easy would this be to, to help tune your server to perform better? Another thing very, very closely related to this is what we have under configuration change tracking. Okay? What we are doing here is that we are recording every, every change in the any file or even the dynamically applied changes, configuration changes are being recorded and retrieved on demand. Here is a list of servers that you can pick from. I'm going to pick this server and I'm going to ask Monio to retrieve data regarding it. I have two entries here, March 11th, March 12th. March 12th, there is one change, the long query time. The, this gives you the old value and the changed value. So this is how you can actually have version control of your MySQL server. Pretty important when you are back tracing or, or trying to do some kind of reverse engineering to find out what went wrong or what, what has turned the, the server to do, be, uh, to do better. So some such things can be easily done using this feature of Monio.